Welcome back, YouTubers, to the Embassy. It is I, your Ambassador Al, the Ambassador of Marvel Strike Force and of winning. And today, what we're winning, we're winning the spreadsheet battle, the math battle. We're beating the events. And how are we doing it? Well, just adding stuff. It's not really that complicated. Many of these events truly are, but I'll give you two basic rules. Two basic rules of any of these events. Rule one, if it's got milestones and no leaderboard and you're free to play, you're not going to get the last milestone free to play. Okay. Typically there's one, two, sometimes three milestones that you're not going to get to free to play no matter what you grind in the game, unless there's a lot of cores, which I don't really count as free. If you're spending like thousands of cores, is that free? Uh, no, not. Second rule, if there are leaderboards, and there's no leaderboard in this one, and there are fewer and fewer leaderboards, then guess what? Uh, the milestones will suddenly become more achievable. You might still not get the last one, but you'll probably get the next to last one. But the leaderboards, you won't be able to get the higher stuff, the best stuff, the great stuff, without buying a lot of stuff in the web store or in-game. At the leaderboards are money events for the top few, the top 50, top 1,000, maybe, if they're being generous. It's going to be hard. That's it. That's it. All you need to know is like, well, how many do I need to do? A, you're not getting to Milestone 20 without spending money, even if you blitz your brains out, which I plan to do. 18 looks fairly friendly. You can get there. 19, it turns out this time you can get there if you blitz like crazy, and I will. And maybe you will too if you're watching this video. Milestone 14, hey, the last one with the monthly event item, that one you can get without blitzing your brains out because they've already made that promise to us that with moderate engagement, you can get it done. So you don't need to do any math. Look at these milestones and go, oh, look, milestones, no leaderboards. That means this part for the monthly item will be relatively easy with moderate engagement. Just go do it. B, you can go, I could probably get a few more milestones with heavy engagement, but probably not the last one and probably not the last two without heavy, heavy engagement and moolah. Okay. You got all that? Write that down. A cut paste for every other event math video you see. Anybody who's not going over that part with you is not being helpful. This is how it works. Okay. Here's the actual math. All right. Uh, max milestone 170. Uh huh. Target milestone. I right, we can get 18 without going too nuts. 15. That's the monthly mo event thing. That's easy to get. How are you gonna get it? Okay. Let's say you're going all out, max out, go crazy, go crazy, folks. Well, there's two parts of this. One, I guess really three parts. One, you're gonna blitz. You get 75 points per blitz battle. No, you actually get 100 points per blitz battle. But after the first thousand, say 75, 75,000, so 700,000 divided by 75, quick math, that's the thousand. That's pretty easy, but I did it for you, so you don't have to. Okay, after the first thousand blitz battles, that's 50 save squads times 20 rotations, lots of zeros here, you're going to be done with this part, and it goes from being 100, because 75 goes away, and just 25 points per blitz battle for the ones after the first thousand. So in my little spreadsheet over here, please note, blitz battle cap, a thousand battles times 25 points, caps, and then I've got more blitz battles, get 25 for the first thousand, uh-huh, and keep getting 25 for all of them. That's how we're gonna get points. Okay, you're also gonna get points, too, from having built secret defenders. Oh, right, this is called Ronin? Why? Uh, because they sold Ronin to us uh, last Friday or whatever. My man Trap Man's already got Ronin at six red stars. Way to go. Because Ronin was the most featured character. Ronin is not involved in, in except, except you can blitz with Ronin. Uh, not involved in this. This is not, a re this is not the, the release method for Ronin. Why is it named that? Uh, they don't like us? I don't know. It's crazy. It's just it, it's crazy how it works, right? So on the fifteenth, that's a uh, Friday, we have an actual Ronin event, an actual event where Ronin does stuff, and you I mean we actually get Ronin. Okay, great, cool, ready to go. This is not that event. You do need secret defenders, and you can get secret defender shards 
during the event. So if yours aren't five stars, six stars, maybe you can get them during the event up to enough stars. So anyway, you get more points for blitzing. Don't have to win. Don't have to win. Just do a blitz battle with the characters at a high enough stars because they want us to get higher stars on characters because it makes them more money. They offer... They, they, they try to sell it to us. They have offers for character shards, so they reward us for having purchased the offers. That's what these events really are. They're glorified sweeteners to the deal to make you spend money for the characters. Come on, we know that. Okay, if you have them all at six star, you do a thousand blitzes, get the cap there. You keep going. This is basically, there are four days of eight rotations per day, max all the rotations. You can get two the first day before the eight o'clock reset Eastern time. So it's 34 possible blitz rotations times 50 attacks. That's 1,700 battles. Do the math. And there are 4,000 points to div uh, divination orbs full that we can get from the webstone. And the webstone we get from doing from accumulating 21,000 blitz credits, which isn't that bad. Two ways to get one. What is your, uh -huh, uh -huh. If you do your dailies, the daily, it's 750 per your dailies. You know, the daily things over here. For doing a, if you have a streak, you get 750 blitz credits already. If you're just getting from battles, it's about 20 per battle. I did the math. If we collect five dailies, which I believe was right. Let me know if I'm getting it wrong. Maybe it's only four. Uh, you get 3750. Means that you need, if you, get, if you get 20 blitz credits per battle, you need to complete... Let's say you get 40 wins. Remember, you only get you only get points for battling. When you win, you get blitz credits, right? So you, let's get 40 wins out of 50. You need to do 21 rotations. Oh, that's so many. You can do eight per day. That's in three days, you get 24 rotations. I'm planning on doing 34 rotations. We'll get there. That gets you all the points from the webstones. That feeds into that, and you're going to get 20 without. You get all the points. You get all the credit points. You're fine. You'll get these points. There's also 500 points free claims per day. And that's great because those are actually orb fragments. So then the four days, you actually have one more orb to open. Oh boy, one more orb. You'll get there. My math indicates that if you do all of this, this is no blitz charges, just doing all the free rotations, you can get 162,500 points. If you use some charges, and hopefully you don't, you don't have to win, just do more attacks, you should be easily able to get down to 142. You get close enough to the 170 that if you want to do this, you can blitz your brains out, even use charges. You're going to come up a little bit short, and then you could buy an offer if that's what you want to do. You can do an offer for like maybe $10, hopefully only $10, maybe $15. Uh, kind of stinks, got to tell you. And But if you're really pushing for Dark Dimension 6 and you need these bio pieces and you know Elite 7, this could be a good value. If you're going to go ahead and blitz anyway, I like the blitz. I'm a hardcore blitzer. It's what I do. All right, it's part of my thing. It's what I do. If you're not the hardcore, you're pretty hardcore. You do a lot of misrotations. Go kind of crazy. You miss one or two here and there. You can still get Milestone 19, which is pretty good. Uh, it's Armor 18 Fragments. You're going to get 20 random uh, Gear 18 Minis. Not the cool 70 targeted bio stuff, but it's still pretty good. I think it's worth going for if you've got the time and the inclination to blitz a lot. If you don't, I would say think about Milestone 18 because you probably need Robbie. You probably need Robbie Shards. Hey, get Marby up to six stars or at least up to five stars. We'll get you more points in the event. So, hey, why not? Um, and these two as well. Secret Defenders are taking over the game. They're good in Arena. They're good in War, it appears. Crucible. Uh, you name it. They're pretty good. I haven't seen them in raids, but, you know, whatever. We're fine there. Uh, we have dedicated raid teams. These are all useful things. I think for Milestone 15, like the cloth, good stuff. I think it's worth doing if you're into Blitz. If you don't like Blitzing, you don't have to Blitz. You're not going to miss out on Ronin. Ronan's not involved. You need secret defenders? Yeah, sure. You want the monthly item? That's good enough for you. You can blitz pretty lightly and get there. A lot lighter than I was doing here. Maybe like three rotations a day. I think it's four. Four rotations a day, like 16 rotations total. You'll get all the points you need. You'll be fine. So that's your math video. That's 10 minutes in and five minutes of you ranting about things. That's your math video. Blitz hard if you want to. You'll get there. I had lots of math behind the scenes. We average some things out. But yeah, if you like to blitz, it'll be rewarding. Can you get all the way to the end by, by just blitzing? No, but you can get pretty close and then kick it in with a little extra money if you want. If you don't want to do that, 
Blitz a little less. You can ease back and just go milestone 19, 18. You can ease off the gas if you like. But I think you'll find this is not that scary of an event uh, because there's no leaderboard. And because you don't, if you're on the chase for like Apocalypse still, you don't even need to go gear 18s. That'll come later. It'll come later. It'll be fun. Okay. I'm ranting way too much. I'm wrapping it up. So in short, I do the math so you don't have to. And just relax. The math stuff in the blog, not in the blog, in the blog, not in the blog. Like, if you like doing math and you like to see it for yourself, I, it should be in the blog. It should always be in the blog. But if you don't want to do the math and you want to wait and see, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. I do the guides on these events. And the basics are always the same. The last one or two will be hard to get to unless you spend money. But we'll see how far you can really get and and check in with us on check in with us to see how it goes. So until next time, remember, winning beats losing. Losing beats not playing. As long as you're in the game, you can win the fight another night. Have fun. Experience peace and love and joy. Relax. And we'll see you next time. Ambassador Al signing out.